Okay. Um, since version 1.9, anyways, once we hit there, Playmaker opt templates. And to me, they really, really close the gap on uh, scripting to Playmaker. I mean, to me, it was al it's always been close anyways, but there's been a couple of advantages. Not the Playmaker couldn't do it, but it was almost easier to do in scripting. I guess you could say um, but I think I think templates really change that and it's not just <clears throat> like templates when you think of templates you think of I can you know set up a, a damage system or a run system or whatever template and just use it all over the place and yes that's that's great but <clears throat> uh, one of the really cool things templates can do is let's take Let's take an object, and I'll, I'll, I'll show you something. This this will this will blow your mind, okay? Hopefully, it should. And let's change it. Let's give let's give it to you. Uh, tag. Get out and walk words. Um, we're gonna call this block. All right, and that's I'm gonna give this a tag block. Now I'm gonna give all the blocks a FSM and we'll call this we'll call this block as well we'll keep everything the same and you know, you know I'm gonna give it a variable called block okay so now we have block 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 three blocks and in the very start I'm going to random int and it's gonna be I have 0 to 100 and that's gonna I'm stored into block okay and that's all it's gonna do and I am going to duplicate them out. You know, a bunch of times. Really doesn't matter, I guess. Even that's enough. All right, so we have a bunch of blocks. We have a bunch of FSMs. They all have, they're all going to have a random value. And I want, we'll say, a capsule. This is going to represent us or something. And in it, I'm going to have an FSM. And I am going to have get key down. We'll see the space key or something. Any key doesn't matter. It's just to show you the power of a template here. And when we do that, we wish to um, we wish to we're going to scale that's what we're going to do we're going to scale the highest int to a scale of 2 Right? And you're thinking, okay, well, what the hell is the highest int? Now, let's make a very quick template. And let's say in this one, we want to find objects who we're going to do an array list. Uh, do we have a find? Array list find objects by tag. Perfect. So we need a, we, we have to have that proxy. So this is, this is going to be our blocks. So we need to find a reference, which is going to be blocks, and the tag is block, right? Okay, so once we have that, let's just finish and come over here. And then let's, let's do uh, array get next, array list get next, I should say. And we're going to use again our blocks, and we have a loop, and we have a done. So we have a type, and it's going to be a game object, and that's going to be the current one. So during this loop, what do we do? Well, we know we have a get fsm int. And if now we'll just 
grab one of these real quick. So in FSM, there's a variable called block and it has block. We're going to store it as current block value. All right, and that's from our current. So as we loop through, we're going to find the current. Now we're going to int compare. And if current block value is greater than highest block value, then if it's greater, we have a new one. Else, skip and skip. All right. <clears throat> if we skip, we go back. If we go new, then what we need is we need an output. We're gonna, this is our, we're just going to call it the returned. It's the returned. Dun, dun, dun. All right. And then what we're going to do is set game object the returned to current and then we can go back here and when we're done we can go down here and we can say finish fsm and if we want we can run a couple iterations of this right when we're done here we can be like oh let's do an iteration right <clears throat> so actually yeah you know what let's 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 do that just just to show a point Let's do just a loop. Let's do three, let's go four of them. And this one's also gonna do a loop. And when it loops, we go here. And when it's done, it goes back over here. And when this one's done, it can go down here. So we come into here, it's gonna do four loops. Each loop, it's gonna go through this array. Actually, you know, we should, we should find the objects first. We don't need to redo that one, I suppose. So we're going to find the objects and we're going to say, okay, we're going to loop four times. We go through our array and we check its thing to see if it's, you know, good. And then we come back. Now in here, what we're going to do is set game object and we're going to set int value. And we're going to just kind of clear those out. So the current highest block value is going to be zero. And the returned is, is going to be a null. That's it. Now I can save this. And then I'm going to delete this. And then in here, when I get key down, I want to run FSM, right? We're going to get the find highest. It's going to come back with this returned, and that one's going to be our highest int. And when it's done, I guess we'll just boot this like that. So it's almost like it's just one little action now, but if you watch, these guys, if I hit my space, what did we get? Let's grab this cube. Very first cube, right over here. And if we look at him, he stored 30. He stored 63. All right, so apparently I messed that up on the logic. Go figure. Um, ba -do -ba -do -ba -do. Okay, I see where I messed that up. So the other thing we need to do is set int value. Uh, the highest block value is current block value. Silly, silly me. Right, because now, now it's this guy, right? And if we if we look at this guy, and if, even if I go into here, right, you're, you're thinking like, okay, 29. Is that really the highest 
Is that really, really, like, what's this guy? 34. Well, then obviously he's not the highest. Because this guy is, no, he's 99. I'm pretty sure he is probably the highest. So I don't think I have inclusive max on there. So 99 is as high as it goes, right? Fair enough. And <clears throat> again, now if I hit that again, I mean, obviously nothing's going to happen because he's still going to be the highest, right? But if I come out of play and go back into play, what do we have? Now it's this guy. He's the highest. And if I click on him, let's see, did he get a 99? He got an 85. That's pretty freaking high, right? So I'm, I'm testing on variables in here, and I can do multiple variables. I can do all kinds of crazy shit in here. But when it comes to the player and I'm doing my game logic, I'm looking at I get a key down and I want the highest value. Like you, you can almost think of this as this is some custom action I made, even though it's not an action, it's a template that does all this, right? But that's not the way I'm looking at it, right? <clears throat> And this, this ability, you see, like, this all happens, and that's all one frame, right? Ba -doop, ba -doop. And this thing iterates, you know, uh, six times, right? I can tell that thing to go, um, you know, 50 times, whatever. If I really wanted to. You know, and okay, we've exceeded that thousand. So you'd have to push that limit up if you wanted to go that that insane, which understandable. I mean, and you can go that insane. It's not like it's going to hurt anything. Bring it down, go twenty-five. Right. So there we go. There's twenty-five. Twenty-five loops going through the entire array, right? It, it, all instantly. But I mean, it it happens as I'm running through this. Right, so I'm setting the scale at the same time I'm doing all this. And so this has to find the highest first. So this is this is just like some action all of a sudden. Just find the highest, right? Badoop. So hopefully when you see that, if you really think about it, really think about how that can be really, really useful. Right? <clears throat> because they're they're the, the possibilities are near endless on what you can try to think of for this doing stuff right because i mean like i'm just i'm just finding a highest value uh <clears throat> you said and you you could expand this out to do all kinds of crap right and then you can make multiple templates so okay it gets this and then we run another template based on this result right <clears throat> you can just chain link these things together but i, I wanted to show that because it's to me ever since the 1.9 patch uh to me that's just it's crazy it's the, the the power of it like it really it really closed the gap from scripting to playmaker